Hello, my name's Ryan from ForexFlow.live. Today we're going to talk about the pound and the return of Parliament and no doubt the start or uh, restart of all the Brexit negotiations. Um, I hope you've all enjoyed your break off uh, while Parliament's been shut. Um, we've had no news, uh, fortunately not, not much news and uh, it's been lovely and quiet. So we're going to be back to that again this week as Parliament comes back to session. Also, uh, May has announced that she's going to restart the cross-party talks with the Labour Party. Um, so what's happened with the pound uh, recently is, is because the Parliament's been shut and we've not had all this Brexit noise, um, volatility has really crumbled uh, in the pound. Um, so it's, it's gone from one extreme to another, really. Um, if we look at the, the option vols, you know, a one month uh, at the money option vols in, in cable, they're trading around 6.33%. And they've been up anywhere over 10, 12, 14 percent um, when Brexit's been uh, really rolling. Even the overnight vols, you know, trading out 5.99 percent currently, they've been up in the 18s, 24s at, at some stages. So we, we've seen that volatility has dropped off a cliff and um, hence why the pound hasn't done an awful lot. But it has looked uh, quite soft recently. Um, so what we're moving into now is, is as we ramp up the, the Brexit talk again, um, we're going to see the pound move into perhaps a, a more two-way stage. You know, previously we'd, we'd seen the pound well supported um, on hopes of a deal, hopes of um, no Brexit coming off the table. Um, and the long extension that we've been given now till uh, the end of October, that's calmed markets somewhat also. But we've seen the pound bleed lower since then because now it's it's really a case of going back into the negotiating phase where both sides in, in the UK, Labour and, and uh, the Conservatives are going to be trying to thrash out a possible deal, uh, waiting on the wings of obviously all the other factions uh, within Brexit, the Leavers and Remainers who are plotting their own schemes. And then we've also got the EU who have said uh, that the withdrawal agreement is not going to be re reopened um, and they just waited on the UK to, to get its act in order. So we're probably going to see another protracted period of toing and froing domestically in the UK. Um, this week has already kicked off with uh, obviously May saying that cross-party talks are going to continue. But again, factions within her party are looking to get rid of her. So we, we're going to be entering those fights again. So we, we're going to see probably the, the larger range in the pound uh, in cable maintained. And that can be anywhere down to sort of the 127 area up to the 135 area. That's where I'm going to expect the, the, the price to, to stay between while we're still in this negotiating phase and, and trying to actually get a deal done. It's going to be a series of highs and lows. You know, if, if the UK manages to pass the, the withdrawal agreement side, of the Brexit deal, that's going to give a boost, but then it's going to come down to the political declaration and where all the trade talks are going to fall into it. So just getting the withdrawal agreement passed is, is going to be positive for the pound, but I doubt it's going to be anything really meaningful. So I expect us to stay well under that 135 area, um, possibly on a test. We know there's still a lot of options up there. It's a big level um, in terms of, of the pound in the long term. Um, it's a potential squeeze point for where a lot of shorts are going to start folding if we get above 135. So that's why I'm looking at the top of the range. Um, anything negative is going to come down to the 127 handle. Um, obviously, uncertainty within the UK is affecting the business, affecting the economies. Um, so it's just a question of whether we see the, the picture deteriorate in the UK. And that's going to force... Um, the pound lower because we're going to have this balance between Brexit and its economics effects while it's ongoing. So right now we've got a little bit of support uh, more on a short term basis uh, around the uh, 130 level just under we've got the two moving averages the 200 and the 100 daily moving averages down there that's going to add some technical support while things are quiet. But other than that we're just going to look at the wider range of say 127, 135 and uh, Unless there's big news, we're going to just trade in between it. So good luck this week uh, as we come back to the Brexit noise and uh, I hope it's not too messy for you.